Hi, I want to do a little uh, air pressure demo by using a particular piece of equipment. It's called an evacuator. It's a vacuum pump. And what it does is it can pump air out. So we're going to see what happens if you remove air pressure. If you have less air pressure in some places and more in others. Now the air pressure we have in the atmosphere here, 14.7 pounds per square inch. The weight of the whole entire sky pushing down on us and squeezing, but it squeezes in every direction so we don't normally notice it. Well, one way that you can come to notice it is if you could change the air pressure in some places using a vacuum pump. So I want you to understand what's going on here and how this thing works. It's not like, uh, you know, magic or anything of that sort. You got a little pump in here and you turn it on and what it does is pumping air into there, okay? And then if you attach this hose to that, now it's pumping air out of that, right? It's stuck to my finger. Ah, it's biting me. No, it's stuck to my finger because it has less air pressure inside of it and more air pressure on the outside. So at any rate, that low air pressure is making it stick. It's called sometimes called suction, uh, but basically it's air pressure. Okay. So here you have a device here with a hole in it. I attach that to that hole, and it lines up to this tube. So what this can do then is pump the air into the vacuum uh, pump. Now if I put this glass bell jar is called onto it, now it's pumping air out of that bell jar. Now there's a hole in the bell jar here. So this pump air is being pumped into there. And if I use a cork, now the air pressure inside the bell jar is dropping because air is being pumped out of it. Okay? And so, all right, so what's going on then is as you pump air out of it, you're removing air molecules from inside of there. And so there becomes fewer and fewer molecules bumping up against each other and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see what happens if you have the uh, air pressure changing. And let's use as an example a balloon. <sighs> Okay, so here's the balloon. Want it to fit inside of there. Now, there's a certain amount of air pressure in the balloon. There's air inside of it. And the air molecules are squeezing and pushing it from the, in the atmosphere. And there's some inside that are pushing outward. And it reaches a state of balance, a state, state of equilibrium, it's called, where the pressure pushing inward is this, matches exactly the pressure pushing outward and so it stays at this size. Now, if I added more air into it, what well, that would add more air pressure inside of it, which would make it expand, right? If I let air out of it, it would have less air inside, less air pressure, which would make it shrink because the balance point between the pressure push squeezing inward and pushing outward would be changed, so the size of it would have to change. Now, what happens, okay, if we put this inside of the evacuator chamber? Okay, so I'm going to put a little jar in there just to hold it up. There, so he's looking at you. Oh, no. It's nice if it balances on there. So here it is. It's at sort of a balance point. It's equilibrium at that, that size. Now, if I put the bell jar around it, I put the cap on, and I start pumping air out of inside the bell jar, what's going to happen? It's going to happen to the size of the balloon. What do you think? I'll tell you what. Say out loud what you think is going to happen. Okay? If you have less air molecules squeezing inward, that means that it's going to find a new equilibrium, a new balance point with the ones pushing outward. Well, let's see what happens. So, here we go. Turn it on. Let's see what happens. So, it's removing air from inside of the uh, bell jar. Can you see what's happening to the balloon? It's getting bigger. Now, hang on a second. Am I adding any air to the balloon? No, I'm not. It's the same amount of air. Why is it getting bigger? Well, it's getting bigger because the molecules pushing outward are reaching a new equilibrium because you have less air push squeezing. And so what happens is it expands until they're equal again. Okay, so again, less air pushing outward, 
Uh, less air put, squeezing it means that it will expand to reach that new state of equilibrium. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to let it keep going beyond that, but basically, I removed most of the air from inside the bell jar, so the balloon expanded because the air molecules inside it were higher pressure than the ones outside it, so it moved that way. Now, what would happen if I let air in to, it goes back to its size. Watch that. What? It sucked the uh, balloon guy inside the jar. The reason was he had less pressure on the inside of the jar when he let the air back around it, when I let air back inside the bell jar. So the pressure increased here, which meant that there was less pressure on the inside, and so it pulled it down. This is the thing. Remember, hot air rises because it's less dense. Yeah, less dense air has less air pressure. Remember, heat always moves from warm to cold. Always moves from warm to cold. Here's the rule for air pressure. Air pressure, air, the movement will always go from high pressure to low pressure, okay? When I lowered the pressure in the bell jar around it, it moved outward to find a new equilibrium. Okay, so what do you think will happen then if I remove the air, once again, from inside of the bell jar? Now you have less pressure on the outside of the balloon than on the inside, so it moves outward, it expands, okay? Now the inside of the jar that's inside the jar, well, let's see if we can get Barney here to, uh, <laughs> to go further in. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, there you go. Did you understand what happened there? It's because of air pressure. There was less air pressure inside this jar when I put the uh, air back inside the bell jar. So it moved toward from high pressure to low pressure. And here's this guy. We'll just set him off to the side. I think we'll leave him for when we get back in the classroom. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we use a water balloon? A water balloon. Okay. Okay, so I got a water balloon there. But I'm going to do something a little bit different with this one. What would happen Okay, I'm pumping air out of the bell jar. But I never put the cork in here, right? Cork, it lowers the pressure. Pull it in. Now, do you think there's any way you could squeeze this balloon into that tiny little hole? This little bitty hole here. Could you squeeze that in? No way. It would not work. You'd pop the smiley face balloon every time. What would happen though if, well, let's see what happens. Now, if I put him on the hole here where the cork goes. What? Let's try that again. Why? Yeah, there's no way you can squeeze that through that hole. But the air pressure is pushing evenly on every square centimeter of the balloon. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, air pressure demo.